Here at McSorley's, we just sell two types of ale, a light ale and a dark ale. I mean, sometimes in life you do want the choice, but sometimes it's kind of cool that that's your only option. You know, they're amazed that how does a place survive on two products, but we do. McSorley's has been around 163 years. It was founded by John McSorley. His motto was good ale, raw onions, and no ladies. And pretty much that was the history of the place up until 1970. We really try not to change anything unless we're forced to. Get swept up at night for sawdust. There's like a slice of raw onion on everything, on a sandwich, on a burger. We're known for the cheese and crackers. I mean, people get a kick out of a plate of cheese with a pack of saltines and the hot mustard, but um, they love it, so why change it? These are the original taps and um, you used to have to pump it and then it would come out of here. The ice box came off a clipper ship, so basically they're actually older than the bar. When refrigeration came in, one of the guys on the block, they flipped the ice box because this was where the ice went, this was on the bottom. This is the original stove and we still light it, usually from October to March. This chair was in the back room, it was known as Peter Cooper's chair, and when he died, they put it up there. It was like they retired his chair. What would you like, sir? Light or dark? I started working here full-time in 1994, 23 years ago. I had my first shift on the bar, Friday afternoons, and then uh, four nights in the kitchen. I was nervous because, um, you know, you're coming into a, a male-dominated place and everybody knows the bartenders and then a girl comes behind the bar and, you know, puts on the garbage bag and some customers actually said do you realize the history of this place John McSorley would be rolling over in his grave and my answer was uh, I'm about my father's business so I'll put the special for today and our soup changes every day it's a controlled chaos here <laughs> you know it's like you know you just got to keep up with the pace you got to be able to carry eight mugs and you gotta enjoy people. And you know, people come in to ask the history of the place. So it, it's, it's not only you're serving you know, ale, but you're also talking about New York history, Irish history, the history of the bar. People love to see old parts of New York. And also like just fellow New Yorkers love to show when they have friends in from out of town, really cool places in New York. You know, we, we get everybody, we have college students, we get you know, regulars, we get neighborhood guys. It's just a big mix, I, you know, and it's great to see um, people who have met here meet like the same time next year, you know. So it's just a constant, constant, constant flow of people. It's like a revolving door. It's like in and out, in and out, so it's good. McSorley's, you just, you just want to keep it going. You know, because it's, it's special, it's unique. I mean, there's no place like it. I mean, I've been to a lot of places. There's a lot of places I like, but I don't know, there's definitely a very comfortable feeling here. You, you want to keep the doors open, so you just got to wear a loose shirt, as my dad would always say. Just come in and go to work.